Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Shopify store for clothing. So let's get started. Okay, guys, let's jump in. So first of all, when you go to your Shopify admin uh, page, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select a theme for our clothing uh, shop. So one of the best themes to 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 use is uh, the refresh or the dawn one just because of the specific color uh, scheme they are using uh, uh, when you when you look at just the, the basic psychology of, of selling and converting colors blue orange green are the best colors to use and that's just a psychology trick so keep that in mind uh, for the sake of this video we're gonna go with the refresh uh, uh, theme as I already selected it I'm gonna go with try and there it is the theme is added to our store so next on what we're going to do is we're going to do a thing that many of us forget to do and that is add policies to our web page so return policies uh privacy policies terms of service shopping policy and contact information and so on legal notices and what you can do, of course, is turn them on and just create from template. So Shopify will allow you and give you a template from which you can just edit it a bit and use that as your main policy. So, yeah, that's how you do it. You just click when you finish it, we just click save and then you have all your policies saved for your page. So next on what's really important to think about is of course the domain of your uh, uh, web page and what i recommend uh, using as a domain is a dot store domain because it's yeah if you are a store and dot store is probably the best go-to domain for for stores and a lot of the big uh, stores not just uh, f um, the stores of, of famous people like I don't know Cristiano Ronaldo Rihanna and so on use the dot store domain and you can get it from all sorts of, of um, hosting hosting platforms like GoDaddy and here you can see it's available now starting at just one pound 73 for the first year here you can search of course for your uh, is your domain available right now and of course get it for a, a just small price that's the first couple of things you have to do so find a really really catchy domain and register it to your uh, shop so let's head back to our shop and let me show you a couple of things you'll have to do so let's go and customize so let me uh, show you first of all what we're going to do with editing our theme. So first of all, we're going to uh, do the header, the announcement bar. And when you click to welcome to our store, we'll just edit it to something like um, a call to action, something like free shipping and deals till midnight, let's say. So it's a simply a call to action to make people buy something immediately and don't wait too long of course you can paste the link to all your products down below let's say just go to all products and when they click here it's going to take them to all the products of course you have to add all of your products so let's go back of course now we're going to edit uh, the header and we're going to just put it mid uh, on the left so it looks uh, really nice and of course add your logo so I'm gonna let me just show you quickly where you can do that. So when you click on the header and here on the right, you have the desktop logo position. You put it in the middle left and here you have added the logo and you do it in from the theme sections. Here you can select your image and from here you can upload it and, and put it in your page. Or of course you can also use uh, free images. So let me just select anything Oh, shopping and sales. I'm just going to go with, yeah, whatever, just to show you how it will look like. So this is what it looked like. Desk of logo with white. We can change it a bit. 
of course make it smaller make it bigger and that is how you do that so next on we're gonna go with this slide right here and this is probably some of the most the, one of the most important things on your web page and it really depends what you put there it should be a really great picture of some of your items so it should be a really great picture of your items that you are selling and for that i recommend you uh, uh, ask a professional photographer to take some great pics of your items so you can put them right here or just create it or create it your own so i'm just so i'm gonna select any image just to show you so here it's the best tomatoes <laughs> to go and here is what it will look like so this is just for for uh to the case of this video just to show you uh, uh so what should you do so here you can also edit the bros our latest product or just go to uh new arrivals and then we're gonna go all the way down to our featured products and we're gonna change the featured products to all uh to sorry new arrivals that just sounds more fancier and i think that it makes people be more interested in in your things when they when they think it's new and it, it just arrived so yeah it's also a little bit of psychology right there so of course you can add the description so that's how it looks like then of course you can edit it some more generate some text and do the paragraph and so on and so on so what we can do else is add a section and with that section we can add our featured product you can choose one product that is especially important or you want to feature it so to make it more visible and of course here you can change the name and the price and of course there's a quantity button the buy button share view full details right here and so on and so on of course uh, uh you'll have to add your products first on your store to be able to uh uh, uh well to 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 sell them so go to products here add product and from here you can do it for title the description keep the description uh just just small don't don't overdo it just a couple of of, of sentences to to describe your product best here add some media we already uh, talked about it do some professional pictures ask someone who's a professional photographer to do them uh, uh, so you have the best possible quality of them here you can add the pricing inventory shipping and so on and so on of course you can add the collections right here so that they can be connected to your uh, uh, page with your arrivals right here so you can see them right here and what i uh, recommend you do is just keep all of your items right on the home page so here on your uh, uh, arrivals let's say this is our arrivals list on the arrivals list and just keep a featured item right here down because 80 to 90 percent of people won't just go through your uh, home or your web page and search for the items and they like to see all of the items already listed at the home page so it's easier for them to browse and to buy so keep that in mind so next on when you created your features list and created the featured product that you want to to sell uh, uh, here down here you have to subscribe to our email or also call to action uh, uh, and of course you can, can connect that with some marketing automation templates and campaigns so to send back in stock email so abandoned product or or just send them uh, 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 some uh, discounts and so on if they uh, 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 subscribe to your email so you can change that here new offers and get exclusive exclusive discount for sign up and of course you can add a five percent or ten percent discount or something like that for every uh, uh subscribed emailer so guys uh, uh just one more time to 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 redo all the all the steps so keep in mind the color 
to keep the homepage uh, light and keep all the products on your homepage because people don't want to uh, scroll through your page and search for all the items. So keep them on your homepage, uh, uh, add some uh, discounts and call to actions. And once more, take care of the color scheme. So blue, orange or green are the preferred go to colors for clothing brand pages. And yeah, that will be it for today's video. If you thought this video was helpful, then please click the like and subscribe button. And until the next video.